فالموت النوم موت so third of those 60 years you're dead because you're asleep so those 20 out of 60 so 40 are left there are 12 years that you don't know what is going on you know infant baby playing with the mud huh? you have no clue you're still trying to figure out oh that's your daddy this is light huh? this is a car don't come in front of it it's gonna hit you you don't know what's going on 12 years until you start comprehending so how many years are left huh 28 28 we did not t talk about Allah going to the bathroom the time that you get sick the time you get angry and upset Akhi, the only thing left for you is 25 years. You know, once they, they, somebody said, how many years did he take in jail? 25 years. Now, if you are smart, enter the jail. That is why Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, Hadith Abi Hurairah, Ad-dunya sijnul mu'min. الكافر. You know, we used to uh, read sometimes in the stories that one person would go and rob a bank and maybe he steals $10 million, $20 million and he would hide them under the ground and he would go to the government, okay, I stole, what is it, 10 years? Let me spend 10 years in jail, I'll come out, have $10 million, live off, I don't have to work. He can't math. The same exact thing here. You have 25 years. Now you want to you wanna spend those 25 years according to your hawa and desire? You know what is going to happen? You're going to inherit a bit from the bits of the hellfire in the graveyard. Snakes are going to fly around you. You're going to be punished. In the day of resurrection, you're going to be standing for 50,000 years, soaking in your sweat. The sun is only a mile away from you, trying to find a way out. And after that, you go to the hellfire for eternity. What kind of deal is that? Are you a good businessman, Akhi? Where is the smartness here? Where? Where? Where it is? Where? Right here. And that is why, Samma Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, يوم القيامة بيوم التغاب بيوم التغاب الله سبحانه وتعالى named the day of resurrection to be the name of تغاب الغب من الخسارة وقال صلى الله عليه وسلم في الحديث الذي أخرجه الإمام البخاري من حديث عبد الله بن عباس رضي الله عنهما نعمتان مغبون فيهما كثير من الناس الصحة والفراغ There are two blessings that a lot of people are losers once it comes to them their life, their time they do not utilize that time in good deeds in purifying themselves in order to inherit the everlasting Jannah and that is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took an oath on the time at the beginning of the surah. By the time your capital mankind, you are all losers except those. We'll find out after the break. أقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله لي ولكم. الحمد لله رب العالمين له الحمد الحسن والثناء الجميل وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له يقول الحق وهو يهدي السبيل وأشهد أن سيدنا ونبينا محمدا عبد الله ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم Brothers and sisters in Islam All people are losers Accept الذين آمنوا If you want come out of that loss الإيمان والكثير من المسلمين لا يعرف معنى الإيمان. A lot of Muslims do not know what is the definition of إيمان. And 
That is why from the word Amanu, the scholar said the first step for you to come out of that state of loss is to learn the knowledge that will lead you to believe. Al-Iman, here is the definition of Al-Iman, Tasdiqun bil-janan, bil-qalb, that you believe in your heart and you're certain about what you believe in. You believe in what? Six elements that Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told Jibreel about them fil hadith al ma'roof bi hadith Jibreel in the known hadith by hadith Jibreel when the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was sitting with his companions and the hadith in the two sahih with, with different wording hadith Abi Hurairah and Umar ibn Khattab radiallahu an Jibreel appeared to them and he asked the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Ya Muhammad what is Islam? Ya Muhammad, what is Iman? Ya Muhammad, what is Ihsan? Sallallahu alayhi Muhammad. Rasul sallallahu alayhi wasallam said, Al-Imanu, Iman, to have faith, and to mina billah. You believe in Allah. Wa malaikatihi, wa kutubihi, wa rusulihi, wal yawm al-akhir, wal qadari khayrihi wa sharrihi. That you believe in Allah. Angels, books, messengers, and the journey that we're talking about, death, graveyard, barzakh, resurrection, hellfire, jannah, and al-qadr, the preordainment, destiny. It is good, it's good, and it's bad. So this is what your heart must have. And you know what? You cannot be skeptical about it. If you're skeptical that Allah exists, you don't have Iman. Isma' إِنَّمَا الْمُؤْمِنُونَ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا بِاللَّهِ وَرَسُولِهِ ثُمَّ لَمْ يَرْتَابُوا Indeed, the believers are those who believe in Allah and His Messenger, and they don't doubt it. They don't doubt it. And that is why, by the way, we call this, you always hear that word, Aqeedah, Aqeedah, Aqeedah. You know, it's coming from what? You get a piece of cloth and you place something inside it and you tie it and you make a knot and you pull. That must be in the heart here. Allah exists. Allah exists. Allah made you. Allah made you to worship Him. Allah is the one, subhanahu wa ta'ala, who giving you the life that you have. You did not come here uh, like this. Uh, you know, we, we were brought up with this singer, Jitu. لا أدري من أين أتيت ولكني أتيت فبصرت طريقا قدامي فمشيت لا أدري من أين جئت وإلى أين أتيت تايه تايه هذا مغني مشهور يقول لك I came I don't know where did I come from I don't know why did I come I found a way in front of me and I'm walking in it what is this way is going to lead me to what هذا هذا this is what you call it الضلال المبين but as a Muslim as a believer you know, inna lillah, you came from Allah. Wa inna ilayhi raji'oon, and to Allah we shall return. And why you're here? Wa ma khalaqtu al-jinna wal-insa illa liya'budun. To worship Allah. That's why you're here, that's your mission, akhi. If you're not doing that mission, you're gonna stray, akhi. You're gonna stray. So al-Iman, believe in the heart, now, you cannot shy away. And our brothers, please, if your name is Muhammad, keep it Muhammad. Don't call yourself Mu. What are you, scared? Scared? Scared of, of showing your Islam? Rabbul Alameen, يَقُولُ لَكْ كُنْتُمْ خَيْرَ أُمَّةٍ أُخْرِجَتْ لِلنَّاسِ you are the best ummah ever brought for mankind. And you're ashamed of it. My brothers, you're afraid to pray in front of your boss? Why? You don't want to know that you're a Muslim? Oh, you're not going to get the raise? Or maybe he will fire you. That is why 
the second part of Iman is pronouncing it. And we drag those who want to become Muslims, come in front of everybody and stand and say, and they stand firm and they leave their old ways. They leave their families behind. They leave their old life behind. They struggle with the shaitan and they come here and they say, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah. And the born Muslims ashamed of it. Ashamed of being Muslims. What is wrong with us? You will witness against all those people. وَكَذَلِكَ جَعَلْنَاكُمْ أُمَّةً وَسَطًا لِتَكُونُوا شُهَدَاءَ عَلَى النَّاسِ You will witness. أخرج البخاري في صحيحي من حديث أبي سعيد الخدري that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ask the people of Nuh, O oh people of Nuh, did Nuh deliver the message to you? You know what they will say? No. Kuffar, no principles. He spent calling them to Islam 950 years. And Yet they will deny that Prophet Nuh came to them. Ya Nuh, man yashhadu lak, who will bear witness that you have delivered? Muhammadun wa qawmuh. Fayu'ta bi ummati Muhammad. Hal ballaga Nuhun qawma? Did Nuh deliver the guidance to his people? Na'am ya Rabb, wa ma'ilmukum? What do you know? We read Surah Nuh. قرأنا كتاب الله and here we are ashamed to show our Islam the second part of Iman is you declare it and the third part is the implementation of it actions you must confirm what you have in the heart and declared with the tongue through your actions a believer does not lie. A believer does not cheat. A believer does not backbite. A believer does not belittle people. A believer is not arrogant. A believer is humble. A believer prays five times a day. A believer fasts Ramadan. A believer pays his zakah. A believer goes to Hajj if he's able to. And on and on and on. A believer enjoins good and forbid evil. Actions. للبحث صلح إن شاء الله to be continued for the sake of time غدا بإذن الله تعالى نواصل الحديث عن سورة العصر we will continue talking بإذن الله about سورة العصر so please join us between مغرب وعشاء اللهم اغفر لنا ذنوبنا وإسرافنا في أمرنا وثبت أقدامنا وانصرنا على القوم الكافرين اللهم أرنا الحق حقا وارزقنا اتباعا وأرنا الباطل باطلا وارزقنا اجتنابه اللهم إنا نعوذ بك من الفتن ما ظهر منها وما بطن اللهم آت نفوسنا تقواها وزكها أنت خير من زكاها اللهم اجعلنا هداة مهديين يا رب العالمين أقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله لي ولكم وأقم الصلاة